All right, so I'm back in Alaska. Uh, and yeah, we're out here in the middle of the woods. I'm with some friends of mine. We're looking for mushrooms, tree mushrooms. What's it called, Dylan? Chaga. Chaga. Supposedly this stuff is amazing. All right, so we're pretty sure that this has already been hit. Like maybe people have already been here, like chopping the wooden mushrooms off the trees or something. So uh, we're gonna go somewhere else. Keep looking. Ain't that right, Dylan? That's right. That's right. Wooden mushrooms or something. Wooden mushrooms or something. Oh, Caspian thinks he sees chaga. No, no, it's already been hit. Typical black lump on a tree. I didn't think this was gonna be so much of a scavenger hunt. Okay, we are gonna park here. So we're seeing a lot of big birch on that side of the road, and then there's bigger birch back in the forest here. So we're looking for a bigger birch to have bigger chaga. All right. Backpack with some bear spray. We got our hammer and chisel. Oh, I got a chisel. A chisel. Look at that. And a hammer for that chisel. That's how we remove our this chaga. This is not, this is, this is a piece of wood. I mean, you can take a hammer like, like a this. caveman. Yeah. It's easier to hit. No, I like the caveman. Like this, you end up hitting your hand a lot. Yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. <laughs> the expedition begins. After I grab one more thing out of the car, After I just After Dylan grabs one more thing out of the car. Yay! All right, so you'll most likely know it when you see it, but it's big and black, and it's either sticking in the tree or out of the tree, like protruding. Is that a naturally occurring barrel, Caspian? Yeah, it grows here, actually. This they grow here in the forest? From. Why do you think it's called the, the, the barrelial forest? <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the video. <laughs> Wait, they found something? You see something? Where? Show me, show me, show me. That, that like black knob there, that's chaga. Dylan, that stuff doesn't look very appetizing, I gotta say. Whoa. It's nice and spongy in the inside and really hard, rock hard on the outside. And this is a mushroom. And you make this into tea. Yep, you chunk it up, grind it up, and make it into a delicious tea. Look at that. Not gonna drop the camera in the water. <laughs> Whoa, baby. Nice and cold? Yeah, it is. Nice. All right, first haul of the day. How much we got? Poundish? Poundish. About a pound? Not bad. All right, we made it to the second location. We are gonna look for some more chalk. What you got there, Caspian? <laughs> Nature. Nature. All right, so yeah, we're gonna get loaded up. We're gonna head into the woods over here. We're pretty sure we saw some chaga. So we're gonna look, we're gonna find, we're gonna harvest, we're gonna save these poor birch trees that are being eaten by parasites. Sure. That's the only goal here. We're not trying to profit off this at all. Especially not Dylan. No, DenaliChaga, <laughs> Etsy.com. DenaliChaga, Etsy.com. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Caspian, would you rather fight a hundred squirrel-sized bears or one bear-sized squirrel? I think I'm gonna have to go with a hundred squirrel-sized bears. That's basically just like a hundred squirrels. Like, I mean, that's a lot of squirrels. And they're bears, man. They've got those, they've got extra teeth. Yeah, squirrels have teeth. Not as many as bears. And squirrels are not natural predators. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Squirrels aren't like- You know like... what the number one predator of the snowshoe hare in Alaska is? Me. Squirrels? squirrels. They eat the babies. Oh, okay, yeah, I've heard of that. But like, not an adult-sized rabbit. <laughs> no, no. Okay. All right, Dylan, what about you? The, the big squirrel, one big squirrel. One big squirrel? Yeah. He's got the little little rabbit teeth, man. Come on. Dude, those could, those could seriously mess you up, right, man. Right, but you think about a hundred little it? bears, right? With the size of squirrels. Bears are quick, all right? And there's a hundred of them? They start getting on you, getting up your pant leg? Yeah, yeah but okay, okay. You can does, see a bear-sized squirrel Does the bear-sized squirrel 
maintain squirrel-like agility. Because that's f***ed up. Well, he's a bear-sized <laughs> bear. That thing can move. Because yeah, like, that's true. Yeah, but he's good. He can climb trees in like a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shauna, what about you? What about me? A hundred squirrel-sized bears or a one bear-sized squirrel? I think one bear-sized squirrel because it might take one look at me and either think one of two things. One, damn, this lady know where the food's at. I better align with her and follow her trail. And the second one, she could just straight up look at me and think I'm its mother and I could raise it in the woods to be my own. We'll defend the forest together. I'll like try and lick up I... the blood to heal it if it ever gets hurt. <laughs> just get real feral with it. So I think I would probably go with uh... Squirrel sized bears. Because you could just yeah. kick them or step on them or. If the goal is just to survive, I would go with the single large enemy because uh -huh. I can run away from that thing. Yeah. If the goal is to beat them and you, like. We're trying to beat them. We're yeah. trying to defeat them gonna, in combat. I'm not going to beat a bear sized well, okay. squirrel Here's in unarmed question. combat. <laughs> <laughs> Jaga, baby. So, oh, that's, that's a little zoomed in. So I basically ran out, I only took one battery on that trip uh, and the camera died. So I didn't want to film the rest of the vlog on an iPhone. So I'm back here in Caspian's garage and we're like processing the chaga now, I guess, or whatever. So what we do is we take our, our hammer and chisel and we chunk it up into about inch size chunks here. And these can be boiled into tea as is, or ground down to make tinctures or other tea as well. So, like, most people make this into tea, tea though, right? Yeah, it's all gonna be tea, really. So here's our haul from uh, yesterday. We got, how many pounds is this wet? It's about eight pounds wet. Eight pounds? Not too shabby. How much do you have, like, total, though? Uh, right now, 150 pounds. 150 pounds? Dry. Dry. 300 pounds wet. 300 pounds of chaga. Okay, so once we're done like chopping everything up with chisels and stuff and getting in those one inch chunks, what do you do? All right, so we put on these racks, take it inside, dry it for one to two days, and then bag it up ready to be shipped out. Sometimes we take the smaller pieces and we grind them up even further for our tea bags, um, but we classify it into different sizes and then bag it up and weigh it. So do you guys like have some already processed that we can try Yo. or something like that? Yeah, we'll take you to it. Let's try some chaga. Yeah. <laughs> Chaga for the first time. Chaga tea, that is. Dude, that's not actually bad. Yeah, good. That is pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I could drink this. Pretty cheers, good. boys. Cheers, cheers. 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 Alright, Dylan, so tell the folks on YouTube what exactly makes Chaga so awesome and why we're going through all of this and why you drug me out into the woods yesterday to uh, to hunt for this weird tree mushroom. Chaga's, Chaga's so great because of all its medicinal properties, but I drink it because of the taste. It makes me feel better. It lowers inflammation. I don't know, it's a really cool medicinal mushroom. It's, it's really rare and it's really fun to find. Yeah, thanks for coming out with us, man. That of was, course. That was phenomenal. I had so much fun, fun with you. Yeah. I'm Cheers. glad you enjoy it. 
Yeah, man, it's, yeah. it's actually surprisingly good. The gold of the forest right here, ladies mm. and gentlemen.